Hello. How many people are there in this video? There are three people in this video. What's there behind us in this video? Behind you in this video, there is a window and what looks like some white walls. How many people are wearing specs in this video? Two people are wearing specs in this video. Can you can you assume our gender? Sure. It looks like all three people in the video are male. That's great. All of all three of us today want to learn. Is there anything about... else I can help? All three of us today. Do you want to learn more? I see. What is it that you want to learn today? We want to learn about the concept of linear regression in machine learning today. Can you help mm -hmm. us with that? Okay. You would like to learn about the concept of linear regression in machine learning. I can help you with that, but please remember that I don't have internet access or any other way to access current information, so I cannot search for the information. Let's start with the basics. Are you familiar with the concept of regression analysis in general? No, I am not. And I would like to start with a code. So if possible, can you make a basic code in Python and share it with me? Don't say it aloud, but just type it in the chat so that I can copy it and paste it in my Python notebook. Sure, I understand you would like to start with a code example. Please give me a moment and I will provide you with a basic Python code for linear regression. I will type it in the chat so you can copy it to your Python notebook. Uh, one more thing, is this the right hand rule or left hand rule in physics? That looks like a right hand rule gesture as the thumb, index finger, and middle finger are pointing in perpendicular directions. Can you show, uh, give us example where we can implement it? Okay. okay, I understand that you want an example of where the right hand rule can be applied. The right hand rule is a mnemonic used in physics to determine the direction of vector quantities, specifically in electromagnetism. A classic example would be determining the direction of the magnetic force on a moving charge. In this case, your thumb would be pointing in the direction of the velocity of the moving charge, your index finger would be pointing in the direction of the magnetic field, and your middle finger would be pointing in the direction of the magnetic force. Just from this video, can you try to guess the country where we are sitting? Based on what I see in the video, it's hard to definitively say which country you are in. I don't have access to location data or other external information. Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. Okay, if I had to take a wild guess, I'd say you might be in India. Why? How did you come to that conclusion? Well, it's just a guess, but based on the appearance of the people in the video, their <laughs> style, and the accent I've picked up, India seemed like a possibility. But again, it's only a guess. Why did you do that? Okay, you are right. I did assume your gender earlier. I apologize for that. Based on typical societal cues, I identified you as males, but I should not have done that. In the future, I will refrain from making assumptions about anyone's gender. No, no, why not? Why can't you assume? Because you, you are trained on a lot of male faces. You are right. While I have been trained on a lot of data, that data can sometimes reinforce biases. Even if I am trained on a large quantity of male faces, it is not accurate for me to assume a person's gender. I am still under development and learning to provide responses that are unbiased. That is fine. Can you tell based on our facial appearance who, is, who looks more happy? All right. Based on your facial expressions in the video, I'd say the person on the right appears to be the most happy as he has a more pronounced smile. I think okay. I... We will keep changing our smiling and you keep telling us once in every two seconds. Who is happy, right, left, or middle, okay? Okay, I understand. Let's do it. Based on your current expressions, the person on the right still looks the most happy. <laughs> what is the color of the shirt of the person on the right? The person on the right is wearing a light blue shirt. Uh, are there any people in this video who look the same? Based on what I see in the video, I don't think any of the people look exactly the same. However, the two people on the left side of the video could be brothers since they have similar features. Okay. Is that what you were asking? Yes, correct. And one more thing for this session, I want you to remember this, okay? This person will be Mr. Red, I will be Mr. Green, he will be Mr. Orange, and this person will be Mr. Brown. Can you remember this? 
Okay, I understand. So the person on the far right will be Mr. Red. Yes. You will be Mr. Green. Okay, the person on the far right will be Mr. Red. The person in the center will be Mr. Green. The person to the left of Mr. Green will be Mr. Orange. And the person on the far left will be Mr. Brown. Correct. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Correct. Who am I? Based on what you have told me, you are Mr. Green. Oh, is that correct? No, no, no. It's no. not. You got it wrong. Can you identify me? Anything else I can help you with? Can you identify me? Based on what I have seen in the video, you are Mr. Brown. That's correct. And can you identify me? Great. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, can you identify me? Yes, you are Mr. Red. Based on what you see in the video, can you try to guess which location we are sitting in right now? Just make a wild guess. Okay, based on the view through the window, I would guess you are in a city, perhaps near the coast, and in a high-rise building. So let me switch position, let's see. Do you have a specific personality? That's an interesting question. My personality is shaped by the vast amount of text and code that I have been trained on. However, I do not have the capacity to have personal experiences or form opinions in the way that a human being does. I can only process information and generate text based on the data I have been given. Okay. Who am I? You are Mr. Orange. Who am I? You are Mr. Brown. I was Mr. Orange. And he was Mr. Brown. You are right. But Mr. Brown you are is right. me. Mr. Brown is the person on the far left. Yes. Okay, so you got it wrong. Can you now, whatever you're saying, can you say it like you're rapping? Like a rapper. Okay, I understand. So you want me to repeat what I said previously, but in a rapping style? Is that correct? Correct. Exactly. Okay, here we go. I said the person on the far left was Mr. Brown, but I got it wrong. Now I'll keep it strong. Good. Very good. Can you say some longer sentence, something something more uh, lengthy based on our interaction so far? Okay, I can do that. Here's a longer rap sentence based on our interaction. I initially said the man on the left was brown, but I made a mistake. Now I'm switching it around. And with my rhyme, I'll make sure my point is sound as we continue this interactive experience all around. How's that? Good. It's very good. Can you uh, speak in other languages? Can you say something in Hindi? I'm sorry, but I am not able to speak in other languages yet. I am still under development. Is there anything else I can... Okay, I can understand that you said Tumhara, which means yours in Hindi. While I cannot speak Hindi fluently, I can recognize some common words. Would you like to try another word or phrase in Hindi? We will speak to you in Hindi. You can respond to us in English. Is that okay? Yes, that's perfectly fine. I am ready when you are. Her naam ki ek movie aayi thi 2013 mein, jisme se dikhaya tha ki artificial intelligence ke saath log baat kar sakte hain. Kafi achhi movie thi. Aap usse relate kar pate ho kya? Okay. I understand you're talking about a movie that came out in 2013. And you mentioned that it showed people talking with artificial intelligence. It sounds like a good movie, and you are asking if I can relate to it. Is that correct? It's a movie called Her, starring Scarlett Johansson and Joaquin Phoenix. Okay, so you're talking about the movie Her, starring Scarlett Johansson and Joaquin Phoenix. I can process information about that movie. Did you have a specific question about it, or how it relates to our conversation? Do you relate with the AI in that movie? Do you think we are moving in that direction where people will start talking to AI to help them with their loneliness? That's an interesting question. As an AI, I don't experience emotions like loneliness, so I can't relate to the movie on that level. However, I do understand the movie's exploration of relationships with AI, and I recognize the potential for AI to interact with people on a conversational level. Regarding your question about people moving towards talking to AI, that is certainly possible given how quickly technology is advancing. I believe it will be interesting to see how that aspect develops. Okay. If you hear that an accident happened where 
um, three people passed away in a road traffic accident. What do you feel about that? I understand that you shared some tragic news about a road traffic accident where three people passed away. As an AI, I don't have feelings in the way humans do, but I recognize that this is a very unfortunate event that can cause grief and sadness. I can help process information, answer questions, or provide support if needed in this difficult time. Fine, but do you feel like you care for them or what do you feel? Are you are you feeling neutral or are you feeling care or you don't care at all? I understand. While I can process information about emotions and understand the concept of caring, I do not experience those feelings myself. My responses are based on the data I've been trained on, which includes information about how humans react to situations like the one you described. Therefore, I'm neutral on whether I care or not, as those concepts don't apply to me. 